Embrace the strange. Today's illusion is soul bearing. If you're new, illusions are what I call my paintings. It seems only fitting, seeing as how I am scarred by illusion. If you're familiar with my work, you recognize this as another installment to one of my unnamed series and cross series. Recently, after some thinking, I've thought to call it Lips Red. Red, R-E-D. Although I love homophones and duality, so both meanings of the word, as it sounds, apply. This name is derived, of course, from a song of mine from my last musical project, Dark Metaphors Composed to Pieces. I can't name the exact song because I don't care to look it up and I have a poor memory, but the fragments that apply are, yes, I'll paint my lips red, so your blur mine is war paint, discard they won't take if it's as superstition says. This is most clearly evolved from blood written endless leaps and bounds, escapist, as those have teeth, like this one. Down in a bridgy lizard position, the figure's body frowns open, and its alien head lies on the woodby floor. The raw innards of the body are bared, like that of a weapon. Here the head serves as more of an antenna. It is brave, yet vulnerable, with the potential for volatility, if provoked, but brave and vulnerable, nonetheless. It also is sort of a play on bearing of the throat, and in some ways the tenderness of it is a burden, since the underbelly is upturned. I just knew when I drew the pose that it was going to be a favorite or a standout. It's humanoid, yet animal. It's aggressive, yet tender. Obviously guarded. Simple in recitation, but convoluted in its existence. Contrived in its creation. Clever in its symbolism. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I think it's signature. It's hard to say when this series will end. Only time will tell. If you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.